Yeah, I thought I'd come and see how you are. <sighs> Busy, as you can see. Yeah, I wondered if you wanted a quick glass of wine. Oh, sorry. I'd love to. Yeah, all right. Another time. Well, hang on. Um, this table's spare now. I suppose one glass won't kill me, will it? I hope not. Okay, which one? Red or white? Uh, I don't mind. Um, have two glasses of house red, please. Thanks, you. Uh, hey, I really enjoyed the reading last night. You didn't? Yes, I did. You said you didn't understand it. Oh, so I don't understand Picasso. It doesn't stop me liking his paintings. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but you yawned all the way through the evening. That's not true. That's OK, not OK, true. you win. Fine. No, I'm just glad I went. Hmm. Well, so am I. I'm glad you came with me. It's nice that uh, you can go with a mate to that sort of thing. Yeah. And we are mates, aren't we? Sure. Because last night you agreed to come out with me. Yes, I did. Mm. And um, where have you got in mind? Mm, somewhere where I like to take all my mates. And where is that? Charnham Town FC. <laughs> There's a match on. Hey. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Mm. Ah, so this is where you've been hiding yourself away then. I am not hiding, I'm working. If there hadn't been so many interruptions, I would have got this lot finished ages ago. Mm, sorry. So. How was your date? What date? You know what I mean. Last night with Tim. It wasn't a date. Oh, come off it. Why don't you just admit it? There's nothing to admit. Oh, sorry. I forgot you're just friends. Yeah, that's it. And since you asked, we had a very nice time. Thank you. And the reading wasn't too bad either. I'm so pleased. Susie, I don't want to argue. Who's arguing? Do you want something? Yes. Um, is there any chance of getting tonight off? No way. You had last night off. That's very true. You can't take more time off. It wouldn't be fair. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Excuse me? Tim wants me to go to a football match tonight. Charnham FC are playing. It's the last place on this earth I want to be. Is it? Mm. And you've just given me a very good excuse not to go. Well, I mean, we coped all right without you last night. I'm sure we can manage again. You what? Take the night off. No, but I don't want to. It wouldn't do to disappoint him now, would it? Especially after you've arranged it. You're kidding, aren't you? No, I mean it. Take the night off. I want you to go ahead and enjoy yourself. Uh, I'm shattered. Uh, well, I suppose you're not used to working late with all the time off you've had. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm exhausted too. I think we've done a very good job of running this place. Yeah, we haven't done too badly. Maria would be proud of us. Hmm. Tell you what, though. These Christmas decorations have seen better days. Mm. They are a bit gaudy, aren't they? Hmm. I know. Why don't we go down to the high street first thing in the morning and pick up some new ones? Yeah, good idea. Mm. Welcome Maria back. Yeah. She won't mind if we use some petty cash, though, will she? No, it won't cost much. Oh, she's been putting this stuff up for years. <laughs> right. Oh! <laughs> Don't throw them away, though. I'll um, give them to Tim. He can put them up in Duncan's flat. The place looks miserable. They'll look like Santa's grosso if he puts all this lot up. Uh, Pete hasn't come round again, has he? No. Do you think he was serious? Mm. You never know. I mean, he likes intimidating people verbally. Maybe that's as far as it goes. I wish you hadn't said what you said to Peter Strimfeller. Look, the guy needed to know who he was dealing with. It's about time someone stood up to Pete Callan. You mustn't let him know that you're frightened. That's exactly what he wants. Mm. If he knows you're wary, it will make life a lot more difficult for us. It's weird, though, isn't it? What is? Mm. The fact that he's above us in that office. If you're trying to spook me, it's working. I just hope he can't hear us. Stop it. <laughs> anyway, look at the time. It's late. I'm bound to have gone home by now. I hope so. I'm a very good judge of character. That must be very useful. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Take you, for instance. First time I saw you, I knew you'd be good for Tim. Really? Mm. <laughs> You see, Tim's a really nice guy, but he's very sensitive, easily hurt. Mm. He had a tough time this year with another woman. Yeah, who was she? Oh, God, Tim's obsessed by her. She was his best mate's sister, I think. Anyway, she had Tim on tenterhooks for months. 
He was head over heels in love with her, poor guy. Yeah, that's terrible. Mm. Well, it's got you now, hey? <laughs> you take care of him. Yeah, I will. Speak of the devil. Anyway, I better go and check on everybody else. Okay. Bye. Bye, matey. All right. Thank you. I can't stop when I to I give these keys back. Oh, thanks. Busy night tonight. Oh, tell me about it. We had two office parties and a hen night, would you believe? Oh, you should have called me if you swamped. No, it's right. We managed, and it was um, it's quite a good laugh, really, in a manic sort of way. <laughs> oh, I see that we weren't the only people that were busy tonight. Oh, it was just a bit of company. I see. So is that why you took the night off, then? So um, you could have a little bit of mistletoe and wine, perhaps? Is he still here? Oh, it's just a friend. But a male friend? Yeah, as it happens. Uh, by the look of those mince pies, it could have been Father Christmas. Oh, well, here. Try one. Thank you. You know, Grandpa Jack makes great mince pies, thanks. <laughs> Divine isn't the word. And, um, he's a good. He's very good. If it wasn't sacrilege to say it, I'd say these were Grandpa's. Oops. <laughs> Caught red-handed. So Grandpa's been here this evening, has he? Why, well, he just popped round to say hello and dropped them off. So that's why he was all dressed up then, to come and see you. Well, I wouldn't know about that. I was quietly enjoying my own company when he called. Mum thought he was making all this effort to try and win Grandma back. Well, he hardly mentioned Elsa. So, are, um, are you two still over, or uh, have you kissed and made up? No. We just had a friendly drink and a chat. I mean, Jack's right. We needed to sort things out. There's no point in letting your feelings fester. And? And we've cleared the air. Right. So, uh, you're not getting back together, then? I don't think so. But do you still love him? Well, we didn't split up because I stopped loving him. I mean, the situation was way too complicated. Things got out of hand. I just couldn't handle it anymore. So now you're trying to patch things up again? I mean, we've been through a lot together. At the very least, we should be able to be friends. <laughs> Pull the other one, Maria. He's a very special man. And there's a part of me that will always love Jack. But it's different now. Things have changed. There's no going back. Could never be the same between us. And you really think that you can be just friends with Grandpa? Yes. And uh, do you think he thinks the same? Yes, I do. From now on, we're going to be friends. Too. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, someone's got the Christmas spirit all of a sudden. Oh, well, it is the season to be jolly, especially when your business is on top. Oh, what did I tell you last night? I didn't realise how much you actually took till I checked the books this morning. Mm. Full of the joys, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, people always tell you that time's a great healer, but you never believe them. Mm. But it's true. Now I actually feel ready to take on the whole world. <laughs> Watch out world, that's what I could say. <laughs> I've forgotten what it's like to be young, free and single. So I'm going to stop moping around, I'm going to get out there and enjoy myself. You're looking at the new me. Mm. I see you. <laughs> Yo ho ho, Merry Christmas! Yo ho ho, Merry Christmas! Here, let me help. <sighs> Thanks. Oh. Oh, just keep your nose out, otherwise Father Christmas won't be visiting this house this week. So I haven't believed in him since Dad tripped over his red dressing gown and his false beard fell off. Hang on a minute. Are you saying that Father Christmas was Dad in disguise all along? I hope you haven't gone to too much expense for me. Yes, ah, you'll be lucky. Moderately extravagant present will do just by Yeah, yeah, okay. do him on. Um, oh, hold on. Now, just reassure me of one thing. Mm -hmm. Tell me that it wasn't you that did that to the front of the house. Oh, please. Do I look like the kind of person with no taste whatsoever? Oh, when I come to mention it. Oh, okay, don't answer that question. But I can assure you it was not me. So has Dad lost all of his marbles, eh? Guess again. Not Nick. <laughs> has he gone completely mad? He said he was fed up because he can't enter his caravan into that um, competition because oh. it's impounded and all that. So, he's entered our house instead. And Dad let him do it? Here's the fun part. He knows nothing about it. You're kidding. Oh, he'll go ballistic. This is a moment of heart family history I'm not going to miss. Mm. <laughs> 